And um, I think first, first things first, um, I have to thank the Chamber for its support, the Cyprus US Chamber of Commerce that is, and uh, Maria, who is our, the new president and the first woman president of the Cyprus US Chamber. So. And um, Aries in particular, Genesis Ventures as well, for their support and their um, initiative in, in, in bringing the idea of putting this together, and Costas and Gino for sponsoring the event. So uh, I suppose some of you may be asking why the, the Trade Center, the diplomatic office of the Republic of Cyprus here to the US, is sponsoring or hosting a, a discussion on, on STEM education. And obviously one significant part is, has to do with Engino being there, a hugely successful Cyprus company that is making waves internationally in the sector and I think is poised now to expand their presence here in the US and we're very excited about that. But um, in equal measure it's also because for Cyprus, being a small island nation, education and by extension our human capital has been the foundation upon which we have built our success and with which we have overcome the challenges of our past and upon which we must build uh, our future economic growth and fulfill hopefully our aspirations of becoming a leading international center of excellence. And make no mistake, Cyprus is very serious about fostering a creative, knowledge-based society and a strong entrepreneurial, innovation-driven economy. And a key component of that is without doubt STEM education. Now let me be clear, we're not simply talking about equipping people with the requisite skills or knowledge to compete in the job market of the future, although that is important. What we're talking about, rather, is encouraging and fostering the development of soft skills that STEM also lends itself to, uh, such as critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity. And being a, a a Hellene and a parent. Uh, the term that comes to mind, and obviously many of you are Greek speaking, is pedia. And pedia, whilst it's often loosely translated to simply mean education, encompasses far more. It is in fact a reference to the formative education of a child in its entirety. So we're talking about um, intellectual, uh, physical, social, interpersonal development. Um, perhaps the, the, the simplest way to explain it is to paraphrase Albert Einstein and say that pedia is what is left when all that you have learned is forgotten. Mm -hmm. And that is, I think, the goal of, of, uh, of STEM, yes? to, to develop a way of thinking. So with that, I'll pass it on to our far more interesting panelists. Um, Eleni Kalimpataraki-Janis from Equivico, founder and CEO, is going to uh, moderate for us, but she has a great deal to say on the subject as well. Frank Ciccio, uh, founder and CEO of IQ4, is also with us, and Costa Sisimos, uh, Sisamos of Engino. And uh, I invite you all to come up, and I'll take a seat. Thank you. So we created a range of plastic parts of different lengths that they use the same snap field geometry where we have the patterns. So we have the patterns on the way the, the part uh, clip together. And uh, we, as an example, Lego has more than 8,000 parts and we managed to have a genome making the same models with Lego with only 17 parts. So uh, it, it's a big, it's an interesting thing about innovation uh, the only reason we have this innovative product is because we didn't have the money to make the product. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and uh, mm -hmm. in ancient Greece there is a saying, Benia Teknas Kadegrazide, which means if you are poor you find ways. Mm -hmm. So uh, every, every part needed an injection mold. One injection mold in China was 10,000, uh, in Germany was 60,000. So we didn't have money, we needed to do with as few molds as possible, which means as few parts as possible. So uh, the three-year research was to find a, a design that would allow connectivity in all the directions with the same design. And that actually, after three failed attempts, became a reality, it was a Eureka moment. And then Gino started, uh, initially it was six plus, 
Uh, we created uh, everything that I wanted to have in the school system and we didn't have. We, had, we didn't have a curriculum in place, we didn't have lesson plans in place, we didn't have the theory in place. So we, the design and technology process was the process of pro engineering problem solving. You start with a problem, you do your research, then you do your first ideas and then you build it and then you test it in the value. So we were going through this process which is now the famous process of engineering design. Uh, so we develop the curriculum. We develop. So Engino is not a is not a toy. It's a it's a building system along with the curriculum and the lesson plans. It's a total solution to each step. Can you talk? To, can you describe in one two minutes how schools work with you? What does it look like for a school to establish a partnership with Engino? And in what what years? What ages did you work? Again? So when we started, it was uh, <laughs> the age was six plus, but more it was appropriate for ten to. 14. So now you work with yeah. 10 to 14 mostly? Well, at the beginning, and then uh, three years ago, we developed a new pattern for larger building blocks that combine the same geometries. And mm -hmm. now we go from two plus uh, all the way to university level because we added robotics, solar energy, and the high tech elements.